if there's something that I'm like A plus 100% on, yeah. then I might just ask you to trust me. Yeah. If I'm not that way about it, then I'll just, we'll just pull it. Sounds good to me. Is that okay? Yeah. But I won't ask you to trust me unless it's, yeah. I believe I know, in I know. 100%. I know. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Talk to me. No, I'm joking. All right. <laughs>and I met through doing a Lee Hazelwood tribute together in London last October. Um, we'd been emailing back and forth and he had read about me through a, I think it was a Guardian, on the Guardian website. They had a write-up on my second record and they had a write-up on her first record. And they, I was just reading the rest of the article and they read about her and they said all the right words. So we started speaking on email asking each other what we were up to musically and you know finding a bit more about each other over the course of a long time and then started to talk about wanting to do some stuff together i'd ask her to sing on a duet a another song that she declined <laughs> to sing on. he was like oh well, how about you know we actually do a full duet record in the kind of sunny and share nancy lee serge gainsville jane birkin kind of style a lot of times those ideas just don't find a home. When you have two artists that are on two different labels that are pretty busy. When I was in Paris and he was here in Richmond and like putting a Spotify playlist of songs together and first there were maybe like 500 songs. All the Lee Hazelwood stuff, all the Sonny and Cher stuff, all, everything that you could possibly imagine. And we were just trying to work out where we actually wanted to go with it and see Kind of ironically, we didn't end up using the Lee Hazelwood and Nancy Sinatra song or any of those kind of obvious ones. We thought the songs that we picked, if they were the ones that for some reason stood out for us personally. To make it interesting, it, it didn't seem like it was gonna really float completely like if we were just doing like old songs or or like straight ahead versions. So there, there's like some, there's some, Newer material and like R&B stuff that, that I really love. There's a Frank Ocean tune in there that that I've always loved, always wanted to cover. And it's cool to do covers too because I've since being young, doing covers have been one of my biggest ways of learning music or just learning about myself and what I need to where I need to go. It worked out so that she came over and we made the record.
anyway, more like a kind of partner's person of being able to experience something with other people. It's a moment with another person that I really enjoy making music with and being around and, and just sort of celebrating that energy, you know? And it's, I think for me, I want it to be a record that's a real document of that. 10 days together. Look at what the light did now. Look at what the light did now.